Peace. This is a meat potato source of production starring myself, the Water Alchemist, and today's topic for the occult family is Shadow Reading. Now, this is a new deck I'm going to be using. It's actually the Necronomicon deck, and this is only the second time that this deck has been used by me. It's a new deck, and I have a special guest that's going to help me channel this reading for the family, and that guest is Pazuzu. Paduzu gives a warm welcome to all of you. Except the trucks, no trucks. So I want you to concentrate because this is going to deal with your past, present, future. Those are the ones that I like to do. I'm probably going to do a more in-depth one, like an eight or ten card spread in the future. So like I said, if you would like that, you can contact me at wateralchemist 777 at gmail.com so with that let's get into it and i want you to concentrate let's see what this is six of books okay let's unpack this what the six of books is dealing with is that in your past a lot of you were going through transitions this means that a relationship had either ran its course or it's just not working out. You living with a friend or even a family member. You kind of overstayed your welcome and you come to the stark realization of that. So what this car in the past was suggesting is that it was time for you to save your coins and get ready to move. Or it, it, it may you may even be in a tougher situation. Some of y'all may have had to go stay with an ex. Some of y'all maybe even had to live in your car. But the thing is, is that you can't let those distractions, and this is what you're learning from your past. Those distractions are going to come. And Pazuzu was saying that even people who had a vampiric energy, they were basically a puppet to get you out the way. Again, shadow work. Now, this is the present energy. King of Beakers. All right. This is a very occult card. Why do I say that? I say that because if any of you are wanting to write, do poetry, even if you want to do crocheting or knitting or creating something that's yours, and especially if you are a musician, doesn't make no difference whether it be hip hop or rock, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to use the occult and combine it with anything else that you want to do. Combine the magic with the music inside of you so it can come out. That's what this card is saying. The King of Beakers. Because a lot of y'all have occult talent. But you don't know how to put it together with what you love. And what's always been inside of you. So use the magic and combine it either with the poetry, the writing, the music... Or creating your own clothing. That's what that's saying. Now we're going to do with the future. Future is very important. This is how this works. The future could be anywhere from a few weeks to maybe six to eight months. So that energy is there because the present is going to lead up to the future. <clears throat> Desire. All right, let me say this. With Desire, some of y'all may not be in concert with your animal needs and self. And when you're suppressing it, it's going to really unveil itself at bad times. And also, this card serves as a caveat slash warning. And this is the warning. A lot of y'all, if y'all drinking or alcohol consumption is getting out of control, a lot of y'all need to stop. I'm not here to play, you know, um, some police over your life. But what's going to end up happening, especially if you're going through a dark night of the soul, what's going to end up happening is that you're going to start taking more and more alcohol. You're going to start getting more and more out of control. And it's going to lead you into certain situations that can really hurt you. So whether it be sex, whether it be pills or alcohol, 
get help, but you got to slow it down. Because if you don't slow it down, this is going to just put you somewhere you don't want to be. I'm pretty sure, and especially if y'all got children, yeah, you don't want to do that. And, <clears throat> excuse me, Pazuzu is saying that he's going to end up seeing a few of y'all in the future. All right. Let's say you want to work with Pazuzu. You can go to Lucifer, and Lucifer will act as a caveat for him. I mean, no, he'll act like as an advocate, excuse me. He'll act as an advocate for you. Pazuzu likes meat. Roast or steak is good. That'd be very good. And Pazuzu, when he say he gonna come see you, <laughs> take that as a, a guarantee. So again, the cards, as I said, from the Necronomicon deck is past six of books. This means that you was going through transition, maybe having to move or leaving the job you got too comfortable at. And people were kind of trying to knock you off your square, get you, get you focused on the wrong thing. Present energy, king of beakers, the magic is inside of you. That thing you've been wanting to do, roll with it. Do it with the occult. Magic, desire, don't get out, don't get out of here out of control. And a lot of y'all know y'all have a problem, but y'all in denial about it. And some of y'all e are even struggling how to really get help. And some of y'all are in a crowd where they want y'all high 80% of the time. You better cut these toxic people loose. I'm telling you, cut them loose because some of y'all may end up in a domestic violence situation. So that's something for you to think about when you're doing your shadow work, because this is shadow work reading. And I know some of y'all out here are going through a dark night of the soul, but this too shall pass. So with that, that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I am the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.